Hello, my name's Jerry. I'm with uh, uh, Yes Magic, and uh, right now we're going. To, I'm going to go ahead and, and do another video, and this one here will be about how to to make a, a boot out of a dollar bill. And uh, I've got the dollar bill, and I've got it facing the edges facing away from me. Take uh, fold it in the middle so I can. Hold it this way so I kind of know where the middle is, kind of use that as a guide. You can see here I, I fold this about this much. Let's get us in the ballpark. Then I fold this other side. What we're winding up with looks like. Uh, two wings and we're going to turn the whole thing over now this side we're going to turn twice until it's pointed straight up this side likewise we just roll it two times until it's pointed straight up like that and then one over the top of the other like this now this one uh, particular fold here, I twist it, I twist it and fold it up like that. I'm, I'm fixing to turn it around like that. It was like this and then you twist up like that until it's pointed straight up. Then you take this other side and you fold it down and then you stick it right here in this little pocket. Then you turn around and open this up. Tell a story about a on March 17th a guy went out to his out by his house. He had some woods in the back of his house and he saw someone prowling around and so he so he chased the guy but all he could manage to find was all he could manage to get was his boot. And that's a leprechaun boot, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. And uh, if uh, they don't have any green on they can get a a straight pin and, and wear that as part of the green on their shirt or blouse or or whatever. Uh, there's uh, different variations of this. If, of course, if we just uh, just took this one and, and folded it underneath like that, then you could, it's more of a, uh, open it up here, it's more of a, a western, western boot like that. Uh, and uh, if you open it up a little bit, then you can make it a little ch -ch 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 and fold it like this. And, and if you make two of them run across the, 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 the table or whatever, all kinds of magical stuff with it. But there are different variations. If, if I, uh, I'm not going to put it all back together, but let me go ahead and open it up and, and show you something right quick. We've got it open like this. It's facing this here. The is away from me. The edges are away from me. This side over here is going to be the top of the boot. And if we make it real wide like that, then it'll turn out like a a fireman's boot or Santa Claus boot, where you got real wide at the top. Or you can make it even skinnier like this and longer like this and make a real tall western cowboy boot out of this. You, you, you do the same thing. You turn it over and you get uh, fold it twice to get it pointed straight up, etc, etc. I did before. And that will be the boot. Now, now we've got time. Let me run through a 
a bow tie right quick. This ain't this ain't my favorite, but a lot of people like this one better than the other one. So let me show you how to do it right quick. Uh, we've got the uh, dollar bill, and we fold with the light green up, of course, and we fold it like that, both the ends. There's a middle fold there, so we can tell where the middle is, and so we fold both ends to the middle like that. Turn it over, we see George is in the middle. If we bring the two ends together, and on this end down here, if we fold this up and this up, in fact, we fold it like that and then fold it back the other way a time or two. Then we're going to reverse these fold, reverse the folds here so that we kind of push it in like that. This way there, the folds are reversed. I'll show it to you like that. See, there's the, there's the fold. Now this other end, we then we open up this other end and we turn it down to to where the other folds uh, are start and then on, on this end we take each one of these corners and turn them all the way in to the middle like that turn them all the way into the middle then as we open this up here as we open this up we put our fingers against these ends here the middles are the yeah these uh, little flaps we just folded down we put our fingers there and we put our thumb on the other side to hold to hold these tight as we open it up and as we kind of wiggle it a little bit and and open it up let's see there's george And that's one version of a tie. Uh, I'm going to do uh, one more inanimate object for my next video. It'll probably be this box. Uh, it's made out of two $1 bills. Uh, another variation or version of it is you make two boxes like this. One slightly bigger than the other one so that one fits on top of the other one. And then you would have a, it's kind of like a shoe box. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. And then we'll start doing the animals, uh, like that's a elephant, and you see the the eye of the pyramid becomes the eye of the elephant. It's it's well balanced and and sits good. Uh, something close to the elephant, similar to it, of course, is uh, is a rhinoceros. You can see a the uh, a uh, rhinoceros. Then uh, also we've got a a giraffe with the characteristic slanted back. Close to the giraffe, similar to it, we'll say, uh, is a camel. And you see the pattern of the pyramid kind of emphasizes the hump of the camel. We've also got a a peacock and finger puppets. That's a mouse. You little beady eyes. And that's about all we've got and so I'll uh, uh, I appreciate any comment or suggestion you may have. I know the uh, production sucks, but the information is pretty good. And uh, have fun. This is Jerry with uh, Yes Magic. See you later.